in the other. Remembering because you can be more trusting of life as like Keep this understanding fresh in the lives in this world. Be joyful to your family. Bring to your family an appreciation and beauty to each other. Bring to your family a comfort and strength. Bring to your family a thankfulness for being together. Marriage is a good state. Bring to it the joy of the sour. Bring to it the enjoyment of the show. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Ronnie and Amor are now about to vow their unending loyalty to each other. We ask you to accept the shared pleasure of your life together, which can be eaten off the field. Grant them everything they need that they may increase in their knowledge of your God and life together. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Good afternoon, Ronnie. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Amor. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, before we start my simple sharing, I wanted to start this celebration with full of joy and happiness. We are in a wedding ceremony, so we must be all happy. That's why, Ronnie, for the longest period of time you have known Amor, what is very special with Amor? Cooking. <laughs> Besides from cooking, what else? Taking care of my... Okay. Clothes. Okay. And everything else associated. Okay. Amor. Tawa na tawa to. Why are you laughing? Amor, Ronnie said that you're the missing piece of his heart because you are very kind. You always stay for him. You always uh, give him attention. And uh, you are his everything. And why Ronnie Amor? Ronnie is a good man. Okay. And very good provider. Uh -huh. Very understanding. You know, I have, uh, you know, I always sometimes I get angry, but you have, Ronnie have a long, long, long patience. I you know, he's my slow. best friend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, there are no wrong answers, but you know, always they are always asking me why is it about to spend my simple care. I always started with a question, very simple. We are in a wedding ceremony, so we must know first the beginning of your journey being a sister and wife. Today you're gonna build a home, today you're gonna build a happy family. That's why I only have two things that I want to share with you. So it's only two things, because at the end of the day, you will be the one to handle the marriage relationship, not other people. You will be the one to take good care of it, not other people. You will be the one to show the good thing to the community, not other people. So I always give two things in each and every couple of mine, so that you will remember the day that you become a son. And what are those two things? The first one is marriage is a truly gift of happiness. It is a gift of the mighty father. Why do I say that? You know, God will not give you a partner in life if you will be unhappy for the rest of it. God gave you a partner in life because he wanted to continue your journey of having a happy family, a happy life. That's why we need to take good care of it. We need to share everything that is what is within us. So we need to open our heart. We need to share the beauty of it to our family, to our new family. Because this day is a special day for you. We need to celebrate each and every year of it. That's why it is a blessing. And what is the second one? The second one is marriage is a promise of companionship, of having someone to share all of life's experiences. That's why for me, Ronnie and Amor, I don't believe in separation. I don't believe in annulment. You know, there are no such reason for a married couple to be separated. You choose to leave us one. You decided to build a family. So there are no reason behind it to be separated. But you know, not every day is happy as a married couple. Not every day is a bed of roses. You are facing some struggles, you are facing some challenges in your married life. But how we'll handle it, how we're going to take care of it, very simple. Ronnie, I know you really love Amor so much. That's why you need to continue respecting her, not only just a wife, not only just a mother, but as a one true best friend. You need to share everything for her, for her. Do you believe in the saying, happy wife is a happy life, Ronnie? Yes, sir. If you believe in that, so you need to share everything for her. Share your life, share your heart, and share your wallet. Don't, don't it make it clear <laughs> What I mean is, if you have a problem with the more, talk to a more peacefully. Make it your always happy woman. 
make it all everything that you want it to be. That's why I'm more, all you need to do is to respect as well, Ron. Not only just a husband, not only just a father, but as I want you to Take good care of his heart. Don't you ever, ever nag at him. Don't you ever, ever shout at him. Talk to your husband with full of understanding and care. You are his light. You are his inspiration. You are always there for him. Embrace him. Love him so much so that he can take good care of your new family. Because after family, always he seems a blessing. Ronnie and Amoria have made a very serious and important decision in choosing to marriage at your day. You are entering in the most sacred covenant as life partners in God. The quality of your marriage will reflect what you put into nurturing in this relationship. You have the opportunity to go forward from the state of faith of faithful, kind, and tender relationship. We bless you. It is up to you to give the blessing flowing each and every day for marriage life. We wish you for the wisdom, compassion, and constantly faith of peaceful. Sanctuary which you both growing up. Ronnie Fields, do you take Amor Mia Dorimon to be your lawfully wedded wife, to share your life with her, standing with her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love for evermore? Abru. Amor Mia Dorimon, do you take Ronnie Fields to be your lawfully wedded husband, to share your life openly, standing with him in sickness and in health, in joy and in zorro, in hardship and in ease, to cherish and to love for evermore. You know, marriage is not only a legal document. No pastor or priest or justice of peace can break a marriage. Because a marriage is truly enough, nothing except the promises and efforts of the goods. Today, Ronnie and Amor stand before us to publicly declare their love and to share with us their marriage promises. Facing one another. Facing one another. Hold your other's hand. Ronnie, I know you traveled too far away from your country to here, and I know you have a lot of promises too, Amor. So, what are your promises to you? To always be true. <laughs> that's more, that's your promise, Mr. Ronnie. And mom, I always promise with you. I know me and you argue quite something like that, but I always, always remember I choose you because I love you forever. <laughs> He's the bride. Not yet. Later. <laughs> Just Bless the Lord, the giving and receiving of this ring. May Ronnie and Amor abide in their peace and grow in their knowledge of your presence with your loving union. May the single circle of this ring become the symbol of their endless love and serve to remind them of the holy covenant they have entered into today to be faithful, loving, and kind to each other. Dear God, we believe in your grace and the truth of this union. Amor, could you please give your left hand to Ronnie? Oh, no, no. Before you put that ring into your ring finger, you talk to me and you need to look at that. Amor? Amor. With this ring, I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be faithful. To be faithful. And a loving husband. And a loving husband. You want to. Ronnie, your left hand, please. Look at him. Look at that one. Ronnie. Ronnie. With this ring. Where is this ring? With, with this ring. With this ring. I seal my promise. I seal my promise. To be faithful. To be faithful. And a loving wife. And a loving wife. Before I do the pronouncement, I would like to say thank you for having me. So, so as nice. an officer, as a witness, and as a friend. Remember this the beginning of your new journey being as a husband and wife. Take good care of it. Give more time to one another. Embrace the beauty of having a happy family. Because a happy family always receives a blessing from God. May the power vested in me by the Republic of the Philippines, and I pronounce you husband and wife. 
Mr. Ronnie Fields. You may now kiss your wife. No, oh, come on, Mr. Summit. <laughs> Come on, kiss, 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 Okay. 